In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to add your face in Sora 2. We'll walk through this process step by step, ensuring that your final result looks as natural and immersive as possible. Let's dive in. First and foremost, you'll need to upload a clear photo. This is a crucial step because the clarity of your photo can significantly impact the quality of your final output. Make sure you use a high quality front facing image. Good lighting is essential here as it will help the system accurately capture your facial features. This step sets the foundation for the whole process. So take your time to find the best possible photo you can. Once you have your photo ready, it's time to move on to the next part of the process, which is crafting your prompt. Your prompt should describe the scene you envision and explicitly mention that your uploaded face is to be used as the reference. A well thought out prompt is key to achieving the desired outcome. For instance, you might say something like a man with the uploaded face jogging on a beach at sunrise cinematic lighting 4K. This description helps guide the software to integrate your face seamlessly into the scene you have in mind. With your prompt prepared, the next step is to attach your image to the system. Make sure this is done correctly to ensure that the software uses the correct photo as the reference for your face. This is pretty straightforward, but it's important to double check that the right image is selected before proceeding. After your image is attached, you're ready to move on to generating the video. This is where the magic happens. Let Sora process the information. It might take a moment as the system works to integrate your features into the scene. It's fascinating to watch as your vision comes to life. However, if the generated video does not quite meet your expectations, or if your face looks off, don't hesitate to go back and tweak your prompt. Sometimes minor adjustments in the description can make a significant difference in the final product. It might take a few tries to get it just right, so be patient and experiment with different settings until you're satisfied with the outcome. And there you have it. With these steps, you've successfully added your face into a Sora 2 generated scene. Whether you're using it for a creative project or just for fun, this powerful tool gives you the ability to customize videos in a unique and engaging way. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you found this guide helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out in the comments below. Until next time, happy creating!